We now have scientists warning that fluctuations in the speed of the Earth's rotation could trigger a swarm of devastating earthquakes across the globe, particularly in heavily populated tropical regions. Now, this announcement in all the details to this information in the study are rather interesting. This was done by the University of Colorado in Boulder, as well as members from the University of Montana. They are stating that their findings show that over time they have discovered patterns in the earthquakes and that the speed of the Earth's rotation slowing down brings about waves of severe quakes. And they go on to state that in the end, weather like El Nino or whatever they want to call that they've whipped up that's controlling the weather globally here, and we know that they're Messing with that too, modifying the weather. They're saying that that kind of system could slow the Earth's rotation slightly. And that in turn could cause massive quakes. Now, they repeat the theme here. That come 2018, we're going to see an uptick in severe quakes that we haven't seen in some time. Which got me kind of scratching my head is, what other evidence are you going off or do you have to re repeatedly make this statement? I mean, okay, yes, there's a pattern. But it almost seems, you know, like there's more that meets the eye going on here that they're not saying. That's how I feel about it. And you have to pay attention to these areas near the equator that they're talking about, these tropical regions. Now, looking at the quake map here recently, you can see we've had a line down through here, and there was a decent quake that struck right here on the line as well that's now fell off the map. This area is normally swarming. It has gone quiet. Now, when we start to look at this region, along the equator, these tropical regions they're talking about, parts of Indonesia here, you can see the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, Cambodia, Southern India, Papua New Guinea, These regions, Taiwan, all in that window that they're talking about, but I can't help but think that this may be one of the deadliest and most dangerous. It's the strip here of Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and Mexico, the Mexico City. This whole region, even the Caribbean here, an area that normally is swarming has gone silent. Um, this is the type of region they're talking about. So, in the 2018, what they're saying, in so many words, is expect an increase in severe quakes. And I would suspect that if they're talking about tropical areas along the equator, that this region would be a prime target. And you have to think about the effects it has on every other plate connected to these spots when they hit and what it could trigger in other locations. But we obviously have a lot of eyes. New Madrid Fault around Yellowstone, San Andreas, Juan de Fuca, to name a few here. And it's been rather quiet here in this strait for some time because we've seen big quakes pop in this region as well. But the king in on tropical regions along the equator and saying that 2018 is going to see an uptick where you see an average of normally 15 severe quakes a year. They're saying around double that. So just an update in terms of this information. I'll leave a link here so you guys can read some of these details. And I will continue to update as things change. As usual, it's been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.